Now let us solve the next question. A dice is a cube with dots on each face. The opposite faces of a dice always have a total of 7 dots on them. Here are two nets to make dice. Insert the suitable number of dots in the blanks. Now, if there is a dice, so the dots will be given on each face of the dice and the sum of the dots on the opposite faces must be 7. If you take any dice, the sum of the dots on opposite faces must be 7. So here, this right side, this face has 6 dots means that its opposite face will have only 1 dot and here it has 4 dots. So its opposite face, the bottom face has 3 dots on it and this front face has 5 dots. So then opposite back face will have 2 dots on it. So the sum of the dots on the opposite faces must be 7. Now if you take the net figure of any dice, now let us give the numbers to each face 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now as the face 2 has 5 dots on it, then its opposite face 4 will have 2 dots. So because 5 plus 2 is 7. So it has 2 dots on it. Now the face 3 has 4 dots on it, then its opposite face 5 will have 3 dots. Next, face 1 and 6 are the opposite faces. So as the face 1 has 6 dots on it, then face 6 has only 1 dot. Now if you take the second net of a dice, so here also we will give the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And here face 2 and 4 are the opposite faces. So as the face 2 has 2 dots, then face 4 will have 5 dots on it. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now the face 3 has 3 dots on it. So its opposite face 5 will have 4 dots. Because 3 plus 4 is 7. And face 1 and 6 are the opposite faces. As face 1 has 1 dot, then face 6 will have 6 dots on it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now let us see the next topic. Drawing solids on a flat surface. Drawing solids. on a flat surface now actually any solid has a three dimensional object because it has length, breadth as well as height but when you draw any solid on a flat surface that flat surface will have only two dimensions such as length and breadth so then it is difficult to show the the thickness of the solid on the flat surface. So to overcome this problem then we have two types of drawing. So those two are oblique sketches and isometric sketches to show the actual position of the solid on a flat surface. Now the first one is oblique sketches. And the second one is isometric sketches. So we can draw any solid shape in both the methods called oblique sketches and also the isometric sketches. Now first let us see what is the oblique sketches. So in the oblique sketch we can take horizontal and vertical lines like in the graph sheet or we can even take the dots so 
if you show the dots so there will be dots with equal spacing between any two consecutive dots Now if you want to show any 2 by 2 square, 2 by 2 cube, 2 by 2 by 2 cube or 3 by 3 by 3 cube. So then first you will draw the front face of the cube with the 3 centimeters. 1, 2, 3 centimeters. 1, 2, 3 centimeters. Then we will draw the back face with again same 3 centimeters. One, two, three. Now let us join the vertices, the corners. Now as the front face and the back face will have the same dimensions of 3 cm each side. But if you see the edge, this edge, of course it is not of the same length 3 cm but still we are able to recognize this as the 3 by 3, 3, 3 by 3 by 3 cube. So in this way we can show any solid shape not only the cube we can even show the cuboids or any solid object on the flat surface. Now in case of isometric sketches so we take the equilateral triangles made up of the dots or the lines. So if you want to show the cuboid of 5, 3, 2 dimensions so then first we will take with the 3 centimeters height so 1 2 3 then 5 centimeters length 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 then breadth 2 centimeters so we take 1, 2, so here also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 1, 2. Now this is 5 centimeters and this is 3 centimeters and the breadth is 2 centimeters. So this is the cuboid of the dimensions 5 by 3 by 2. So in this way we can show any solid object using the isometric sketches.